when we meet people for the first time, we don't usually judge them by their appearance because we don't know what a person is like. Everyone has a different face, but you can't really tell unless a person looks really angry. But once they open their mouth, you're able to learn something about their personality, something about what they represent, something about their values. And we see this contrast between Yaakov and Esav in our parsha comes to the major confrontation. Finally, Yaakov is meeting up with Esav, who has wanted to kill him. They look at each other, they embrace, and then they have a conversation. And Esav asks him, Yaakov, who is, what is all this, all these children, all these wives, and all this, the flock that you have? And uh, Yaakov responds, and he says, this is what Hashem gave to me. I've got everything. Yeshli kol. And then, Esav, you know, listens to Yaakov, and Yaakov says to him, you know, take everything of mine. I just want to live. Take everything of mine. And Esav says, no, no, no. Yeshli Rav. I have Rav. Rav means a lot. I have a lot. Achigi says, my brother, you have what's yours. I have a lot that's mine. And the distinction here is between the language used by Yaakov and the language used by Esav. Yaakov uses a language kol, meaning all, and Esav uses the language rav, which is a lot. But when someone has a lot, there's room for much more. And that's how Chazal explained to us what we really see about the nature of Esav's values and his characteristics. Kliyakar explains really so beautifully that when someone looks at what they have in life and they say, I have a lot, but I still want more, then it just goes on and on and on. If a person has 100, they want 200. There's no end to how much a person wants. And yet there's this balance, because on the one hand, we have to be concerned about our future. We have to make sure that we preserve so that we're able to have for tomorrow and for the day after and the week after and the month after and the, the year after. But at the same time, do we look at the gifts that Hashem gives us our ability to put food on the table, our ability to pay our bills as best as we possibly can and say, yesh li kol, I have it all? Or do we say, I want more? If we're able to provide for our family on the most simplistic level, that means that Hashem has gifted us, Hashem has blessed us, it means yesh li kol according to Yaakov. If we look at that and say, yes, but I want more, I want more, I want more, well, then it's a Yeshli Rav of Esav. It's a Midah of Esav. So it's very, very challenging to find that delicate balance between the two. And we really need the Siyata Dishmaya. We need the help of Hashem to recognize the blessings that we have, while at the same time hoping that Hashem continues to bless us with the opportunities in the future to be as successful as we have been until now. Yet at the same time, not to spend our life desiring more but being grateful with that which what we have. Wishing everyone a good Shabbos.